Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lonely Artist Podcast. I'm your host, Ariane, and today I have a very special guest and a wonderful and talented artist. Jeon Gusi, also known as Bobsi, is a hikikomori who happily draws, writes stories, eats and works days and nights in her small and cozy room. She draws all her life, all kinds of stories, but her deepest love is the historical and romance genre. You can know her as the author of Girl Love Story, Uni, I Like You on Webtoon Canvas. So help me in welcoming Jeong Gusi. Thank you so much for coming to the podcast and uh, for lending me your time. I've been enjoying your comic for a while and uh, it's just so beautiful and so fun to read too. I love that you make it you know there's some moments of like drama but there are also some moments of like cuteness and comedy and it's just very enjoyable to to read oh i wanted to say that i read yours too and i'm really in love with lou lou <laughs> yes. she's so great Oh, thank you so much. She's, she's like, you know, she's like um, a dream girlfriend. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even uh, I, I can, I can't find the words. I just read it, and I saw her. I read what uh, she was uh, talking, mm-hmm. and I think, oh, she's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people in the comments always tell me that they want to marry her and they want to make her like everybody wants Lou to be their girlfriend. <laughs> so. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, I I feel that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy that people like her so much. And actually, the one thing I was thinking about uh, the other day before our interview was that it's so funny because in both of our comics, one of the girls is really tall and the other one is not as tall. And I love that kind of uh, just disparity in the sizes. Uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, but um, sometimes people, uh, I think, don't like those tall people because it's not... Uh, I think it's not comfortable <laughs> oh. <laughs> to to kiss them <laughs> or or hug them because uh, you should like uh, uh, became lower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but there's but, more more person to love. You know, it's bigger, uh, so there's more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think so yeah uh why don't you tell us a little bit about how your art journey began uh i've been drawing for as long as i can remember almost everyone in my family draws uh my older aunt is an artist a teacher a restaurer i think and uh, many others she's studies a lot and knows a lot it's very cool um my mother went to art school when she was a child and uh, while i was growing up i often saw her drawing uh my grandparents were into photography and we had tons of great black and white photos at home uh, someone always did something creative around me. I couldn't grow up as a person who didn't draw. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool, like, that everybody in your family is an artist. I, I would have loved to have that growing up, too. I bet that really influenced you. Yeah, I think uh, I... Oh, when I was growing up, I always think about my aunt, like um, we have more of her drawings uh, on our walls and she always um, 
painted with oil paintings, so it looks like it looks amazing. I I can. <laughs> That's so great. I mean, that you have paintings of your own family in your house and yeah. just being able to enjoy that. Do you ever um, take the pictures from your grandparents and have you ever used them as references for your own drawings? Yeah, I think my grandma takes some photos from my grandpa mm -hmm. when there was young, younger much younger and i draw i draw some pictures of them if i had some some friend who who will take some pictures for me <laughs> it will be fantastic <laughs> Well, if you ever want pictures, I, I'm not a photographer, but I do take some pictures sometimes. I can always send you some references. Wow, the deal. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and tell okay. me, how and, and when did you first learn about webcomics? Oh, it was a great story, <laughs> I think. Uh, I think it was when I was 19. Mm -hmm. Uh, my friends sent me a link to a strange site that had a, you know, that uh, scroll-like story. It's, it's a noodle, noodle-like webtoon <laughs> on a black background. Uh, it was telling about a girl who was walking home at night and has and was haunted by a ghost. Oh, is that the one that, like, it would scroll on its own and scare you? Yes! Oh, I yes. saw that one. That was so scary when I first, like, read it. <laughs> oh my god, I read it at night. Oh no. And, at, and I didn't know that, that it it would scream at my face and <laughs> uh, so my interaction to a comic was quite unforgettable <laughs> uh, so you know at first I didn't really like this format uh, I was more like uh, a manga girl mm -hmm. of all these graphics, screen tones, inks and pens. Uh, but more bored I became of traditional manga, mm -hmm. more interested in web format I became. Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like, but it is how it is. Well, that, uh, I mean, that is kind of funny that you went from getting scared with one of them to not really caring and then eventually being like maybe I'll try this yeah I think you know when when I started to think about uh, drawing webtoon I was like hmm maybe I should try it because uh, mo most of the stories that I like on this time, on that time, mm -hmm. was adaptions. So I looked at them and there was good. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think, hmm, maybe I do the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. And here we are, and you have a great story. And I was wondering, you know, how how did you come up with Uni I Like You? Um, so there was no deep thoughts and a long way for this story. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, I just wanted to draw something like a slice of life victim about the love of two girls uh, 
it was supposed to be an extremely simple, plotless story. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to take a break from my main webtoon. Uh, in the previous webtoon, I chose a complex and not so popular genre, plus there is no romance. Therefore, I wanted to experiment and try to draw a story that I never did. Mm -hmm. Completely romantic with a simple plot and beautiful girls. Uh, and in addition, I love fashion very much and drawing stylish women's clothes. Oh, I can Even, tell. Your your uh, yeah. your clothes are so pretty in your comic. They're they're always fashion icons every time you dress them differently. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it sounds so good for me. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and uh, Chani is my uh, ideal type, oh. and I must. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm a sucker for a ship dynamic like my main couple have. Mm -hmm. Like the strong and stoic one, desperately in love with the flirty one. Oh, oh man, I love that. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm so it's happy nice. you decided to experiment on, on that genre. Uh, I didn't think that this comic will shot like this <laughs> so so i was surprised and i'm surprised now <laughs> and uh, every time i the patreon send me another message about you have a patron you have a patron my eyes were widen it <laughs> and, and i think wow it's another one <laughs> it's so good it's that's so cool i'm so happy that people are supporting your work and, and they should your work is, is amazing yeah i i'm really grateful for to my readers because they are supporting me so much. They are so great. They, uh, how are they write, write me so many great, good, warm words. So I can't, I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> they're, so, they're so good. They're so kind. I love them all. I'm so happy that you're having such a heartwarming experience with your readers and it and they are so nice like I've seen the comments and they're they're all pretty positive and, and just really encouraging is there anything within uh you know making comics that is your favorite thing about the process mm, I think uh it's about creating your own world uh, the people who live in it and the story that takes place in it. Uh, it it's, it's like you create a universe, you know? It's, yeah. <laughs> it's your own universe and you uh, are something like a god. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it's the best feeling. Plus, uh, drawing stories is a good therapy. It allows you to solve some internal problems through your characters, uh, reflect your, uh, reflect on your experiences, and learn. I think um, learn something new. Uh, I think it, it is always wonderful to create something by your own hands and mind. Mm -hmm. I, th I think uh, people was born to this world to create. And when nothing becomes uh, something uh, because of your actions, it's 
the best feeling in the world. Such wise so, words. I love that. I hope that oh, more people listen to you. that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> is there is there anything that you perhaps don't don't enjoy too much about making comics? Oh yeah. Uh, I can stand the storyboard stage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I really don't like it. Oh no! <laughs> no I, you know, I always suffer when I need to do it. Uh, I always think that uh, uh, that the shadows are very boring to draw. Yeah, but it's still ten times better than storyboard. <laughs> 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 I've been drawing. I've been drawing comics for so many years, but I'm still bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> Very rarely get excited. Yeah, I mean, about... it can be tedious sometimes. Do you have any like uh, favorite comic genre that you like to read more than any other one? Um, favorite? Mm, yeah. I think, yeah, I have. I read uh, too much serious literature as a child, and uh, now I only read romance, romantic fantasy, and sometimes something historical. Mm -hmm. Also, I really love Isekai. Uh, you, 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 you know this genre? No, what's, uh, what's that genre? Uh, this is a very genre where girls from our time uh, and guys sometimes too, but I don't like read such stories, only if they are not BL. Uh, so that uh, people fall into other worlds and try to survive there. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's like... Like Inuyasha, mm -hmm. sort of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love Inuyasha, so yeah, I guess I do like that genre. I just didn't know it had a name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love this genre since childhood. I read it in huge quantities. I know all the best. And it's still not a must for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's an endless fashion. <laughs> uh, so I, mean, I those are great stories yeah um, I think I read only isekai now <laughs> 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 not not some some great uh, fantasy stories or fantastic no it's only isekai <laughs> But I like it. I enjoy it, so... Well, you should just enjoy it as long as you want to read that, and then whenever you feel like moving to a different genre, perhaps you will. Um, maybe. I'm also like uh, scary stories. I think like, not that... <laughs> Not that scary <laughs> that uh, my first webtoon, but... <laughs> Just a little scary, but not traumatizing. <laughs> yeah, I think, but more like thriller, you know, or Suspense? not like... Um, you know, webtoon launching this, um, this webtoon, how it calls mm, the guy upstairs yeah i, I started reading that one do you like that, yeah, that yeah. genre yeah i didn't read that but i um i'm watching the author of this uh, uh i'm following this author on on instagram mm -hmm. and what I uh, see, the drawing, is in my liking, <laughs> and maybe, maybe when I 
have some more free time, I will gladly read it. Yeah, it's on your the, uh, list of things you'll read. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll enjoy enjoy it because there is this charming guy with a knife. <laughs> 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 I think I will like it. It's it's an interesting story. I would recommend for you to read it whenever you have the the free time. I haven't like I only read the first three episodes, but so far it's it's pretty interesting. So I'm sure I'll, I'll keep reading it as well. Um, do you have like um, currently anybody who's inspiring you a lot? or something that you're doing like maybe listening to music or watching movies like what's inspiring you the most these days uh it's pinterest <laughs> <laughs> uh, and chinese novels of course uh historical chinese bl novels <laughs> <laughs> this is this is really what my existence now based on <laughs> literally so. very specific <laughs> yeah i think it's, it's I, I can't say anything <laughs> so also there is some artist that i love uh, it's sonnet the Korean artist who did incredibly great covers for novels. Mm -hmm. uh, their style is amazing. Uh, but my main love is their sketches. Uh, so, you know, they're really adorable when they draw mm, some fan arts, some character designs, or some, you know, <laughs> when I see her character smiling, oh my god, my heart, uh, my heart did um, this sound like it's it's just oh, she's she's amazing oh they 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 they're amazing i love yeah. when you see art that just just makes you you know like say oh it's so good like it's, it's beautiful or or if it's really endearing or maybe it's super awesome and you just can't stop looking at it yeah i think i have um I have another one artist that gives me this feeling. Uh, her name is Shimizu Yuki. Uh, she's an uh, old fashioned BL mangaka. Mm -hmm. uh, her stories are, are really great. She draws, uh, I think, since 19s or more so it's like 30 years now uh, of her art journey uh, i love her style her her plot composition and especially her couples so all of she doing is great <laughs> And are you enjoying any like um, comics from smaller artists these days that you follow that maybe you feel you feel like they deserve more attention? Oh yeah. So I just read it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love that you have a list. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really like those captions. It's. Abyss Reflections by Zombie Cinnamon Coffee. Uh, the Miss Silver Wolf by Kao Anne. Um, Plot Hole by Another DNA. Uh, and 
Oh, Shadow Slayer by Yusuke. Uh, Beneath the Comfort Tree by Funky Feet Art. Especially my love because she draws uh, the Joseon story like I, like I am. It's a historical comic, a romantic historical comic. And my special is Timmy Eye about Old Korea by Becky Yu. <laughs> there was funny story about about this uh, this last uh, this comic uh, tells about um, some some more specific things in Korean culture. It's like mm -hmm. the clothes or the housing or something. It's it's not like um, it's a story, but more educational oh okay like and historical yeah yeah historical and when i find this uh, story i was so excited <laughs> I, I wanted to like uh, you know befriend with becky <laughs> and i write to this um this author and uh, tell them all of my love and excitement and said, Becky, you are so great. <laughs> na, 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 na. And I uh, pronounce Becky like it is uh, a woman, <laughs> <laughs> but it is a man. <laughs> and he is much older than me and have a kids oh. <laughs> and a wife, so it was so confusing. <laughs> so he he's not like Becky, mm -hmm. but he is like Becky. So it's Korean man's name. <laughs> <laughs> but we we deal with it. It's okay. It's fine. So. What advice? can you give to people who follow you, who love your work, and that maybe they want to become artists themselves? Uh, I will not be original. Uh, and it's just start drawing your story. But if we go deeper, I'll, I'd like to recommend you to do some prep work for your story first. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of preparation. Uh, when you're about to start a long and difficult journey, you don't go out with just your phone and a pack of crackers, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you pack a backpack with everything you might need on the road, choose your travel route, stock up on food and mentally prepare for the fact that this trip will not be short. <laughs> it's the same with drawing comic. I recommend you think through your story first. It may not have a middle part, but the beginning and the end of story are very important. A it is much easier for us to finish a story if we really know how it will end. I also recommend to work well on your characters, uh, their character, appearance, habits. Uh, the more you know your character, the easier it will be for you to tell the story. I also highly recommend to draw different angles of your character's head in vector. This will be very useful to you when you will draw a comic. I also I also recommend choose a limited palette for your comic. 
to make it more like um, recognizable and stylish. Uh, in addition, a limited palette makes it easier to choose colors and develops creativity. Mm, but it's it's just me. If I saw many comics that don't uh, use the one palette and they're okay, so it's it's on you. Mm -hmm. I also recommend you do not neglect communication with your audience on social media while you are working on your webtoon. Don't be afraid to show your readers some sketches, workflows, character search, success and followers. I know many artists are afraid to show how much to show too much of their work behind the scenes because they think that if the readers are already familiar with the plot or a character, they will not be interested in reading the webtoon itself. But it's not like that. People like to follow the process and also they want to see the result. The more you talk about your webtoon, the better. No need to be shy. <laughs> you have to be the biggest fan of your story. Only then it will work. You gave us such a good, like such a good advice. It's like almost a, a class in how to uh, like start a comic. I love it. Oh, thank you. I think uh, that's really valuable and people will definitely benefit from listening to your advice. Uh, tell me a little bit about your plans for the future. Do you have any regarding your work? Oh, it will be a long story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I always had have some plans for the stories. It's, uh, I'm, I'm certainly working on an additional story for Uni, I Like You. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be uh, an SFV moments in this story. It's like sp spicy, spicy moments in this Ooh. story. <laughs> yes, so I'm thinking about only posting it on my Patreon for my followers, but I'm still not quite sure. So I really love drawing spicy scenes, but I can do it in the main comic because <laughs> um, of the tune politics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried once and it was so nervous. I should... I should cover it, all the scene with big red flowers. <laughs> people, people, people liked it, but I myself think that all of my work <laughs> was just covered. Yeah, with, and I, I really don't like it. So I just, I just uh, don't don't do this since anymore mm -hmm. you know me so uh, this side story will tell about jaewon and how she fell in love with the beautiful mystical singer who can only see by the light of the moon and has been living for over 400 years Jawan is Handel's co-worker, friend. Uh, I've already introduced her in the main story. She wears like this uh, oversized red uh, costume mm -hmm. for sport. So, so her name is Jawan. Jawan. Uh, this extra story will be a little mystical, a little spicy, and just a little bit funny. 
I've already drawn a storyboard for 10 episodes, I think. I'm left with the spiciest thing and the final few episodes. Um, I think I can finish everything in 15 episodes, but no, no more. It's not like a long story. It's a, and it's you'll, an be, you'll be posting that one to Webtoon as well? Or on Patreon only? Uh, I'm thinking about posting it only on Patreon because... Uh, you know this Webtoon situation now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm... I need to find some more like uh, ways to have some money <laughs> yeah to eat <laughs> uh, to eat to pay my rent to uh, pay my therapist so of course i yeah so i'm thinking about the patron but i'm not quite sure maybe i will post it on webtoon but like um, i don't remember the words like um like censor it maybe uh, yeah censor it and uh also i have an idea for a webtoon that will talk about a girl who was a sports teacher in our world but died and ended up in a novel where she became the king's secretary and fell in love with the head of the royal secret service. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It, it will be a romance. It's, it's a huge pink with flowers, with some effects romance. It sounds like oh. an epic story. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet, but maybe. <laughs> but also, in this story, there is a second girl from our world who is the main characters of this novel. And according to the plot, should marry the king and live with him their own happy ever after but the king has already fallen in love with his secretary oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the plot, the plot twist but this secretary doesn't know this and wants to bring her friend and the king together so that the novel ends and she can return home it all takes place in an early 20th century setting with steam locomotives, telegraphs and magic. There is also a detective company and some political intrigues. So everything that I like. Oh my uh, god, that sounds like... I want to read both of the stories that you were telling me about. They both sound so interesting. Oh, thank you. Uh, actually, I only draw the stories I myself want to read. <laughs> so, so uh, if uh, if I can't find the story I want to read, I just can draw it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a like that's the cool thing about being a, a comic creator. You can. You can make those stories for yourself that nobody else has done. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, you know, I really want to draw this story. I really want. But I feel that the backgrounds and clothes will cause me unbearable pain. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, they'll, they'll and, kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, this this should be a big, huge project uh, with 
you know, the seasons, it's like season one, season two, season three, and I'm just sketching for it and slowly writing a script, so I don't know when I can actually draw it, and so... I mean, it's, it's like it's, sometimes people don't know, but it takes years for you to be able to like even start a story, even though you already wrote a lot of things for it and all that. And especially this story that you're saying that you want to make, it sounds like it's going to be pretty complex, not only to draw, but to write as well. So, I mean, take your time with it and enjoy the process and then we will enjoy it when you are able to do it. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I think I should. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, my favorite question of them all. Uh, I always am curious about this answer. And that is, if you could have any magical art power to help you in your artistic process, what would you like that power to be? Mm. Let me think. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, this anime called um, Mushi, the master of Mushi, 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 Mushi. Oh. there is um, a guy with, with one eye and a huge uh, box. I don't think I've, I've mm. seen it. So, um, there was a boy who draws mm -hmm. and um, all that he draw on the paper became real. Sort of so, like Death Note, but with drawings. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like the fairy tale, uh, the Chinese fairy tale about the magic brush. I think mm -hmm. when you draw something with this brush, they be they become real. So if you draw like a pencil, there's become a real pencil. If you draw a tiger, there's become a real tiger. So if you draw a money. You have a real money. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, when I was a child, I dreamed about this brush, and nothing changed. <laughs> I still dream about it. Uh, I think. I think now even more because we all need money when we're adult yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ti tigers flowers are all good but money you know <laughs> <laughs> it helps you live and it helps you draw <laughs> yeah yeah so well, i mean that would be a really nice power to have that's for sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, I think so, yeah. You could draw all of your friends' money too, so that everybody gets money. Yeah, you know, uh, there is so much things that you can draw and you can give. You can, uh, you know, if uh, some, some of your friend may be ill, you can draw appeals from, from them. You may draw them a house, you can draw them a dog or a cat. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's so powerful item. Well, if I drew my friends a house, their house would probably be terrible because I'm so bad at going backwards. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, I, um, my uh, profession is... Uh, a designer mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I also draw 
and interiors. Interiors. Mm -hmm. So it was my work somehow a um, few years ago. So I think uh, <laughs> I can help you. <laughs> <laughs> you can draw the interiors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. N not exactly all the house, but the interiors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. If we could do it, I would definitely take you up on it because. My interiors just look like, I don't know, like people don't own any furniture. There's just like a desk and a chair and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually what my room is, looks like. <laughs> Same. Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know if you hear it, but in my room there is an echo. E uh, echo? Echo. Uh, echo. Yeah, because I have no furniture. <laughs> oh, well, I don't actually hear the echo. It just sounds like you, your voice sounds really like, um, like well, like focused on your microphone. So I oh. don't hear the echo. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's. I was worried about it. Uh, I even thought about, uh, you know, um, take a blanket and. Uh, Put it on my head <laughs> with microphone, <laughs> so uh, so to create like a little studio. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm happy that it don't it's no needed. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, and it would be really warm for you in there for you know like this amount of time, just like wrapped up as a blanket yeah. burrito. <laughs> Oh, it. I think it will really hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It became really hot. Well, guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you for the next one. Bye.